now, Sean? You okay. I call this meeting now. to order. This is the Board of Assessors of Amherst, July 15th, uh, 2020, Wednesday. Um, and we have two of the three board members here, along with uh, Assessor Elizabeth Duffy. Um, the first order of business is to approve the minutes for June 18th, 2020. And uh, I think both board members have some things to say about those minutes. Lee, you want to start? Yeah, the first thing I noticed, Liz, that uh, we were missing a list of attendees for that meeting. Well, yeah, I just want to go. I, I think it was, I, I don't, Liz, I think these minutes are not really, um, they're not really actionable as minutes. Um, first of all, my the, the copy I got says E agenda at the top, which looks to me as though somebody was going to type in minutes and typed in something else. And uh, there's no list of attendees. And I'm a little, I get the sense that somebody just sort of transposed the agenda from the last time without making any adjustments on it. So I think it's not. This was, this was typed up by, by Teresa. So um, I'll share your concerns. Um, well, so you want I mean, a list of attendees. And um, what, other, what other modifications well, do you want? Because I'm up for modifications. I well, like I, having minutes actually reflect something. I, I, I if someone didn't attend, they'd get the gist of our. our I, actually, I actually think that there wasn't much care taken uh, in preparing these. I don't know what happened, but they're okay. not really, I don't think they're really approvable as minutes right now. Okay. Are you um, looking, are you looking at them, Liz? Are you looking at I am the, looking at them and I'll be it, honest oh, with you. Um, at the top, it says E agenda. E agenda. Do I have the same ones that you have? Maybe I, maybe I don't. I got the, I no, got no. this. Yeah. Yeah. It says the E agenda. Yeah. I got the set that uh, was sent to us the first time I believe it was July 7th from Teresa. Teresa then sent an updated agenda, but no updated minutes. So, um, which I didn't- Maybe I, that was her intention. So I'll be I, honest I, with you. She's been flat out trying to get ready to go out. I, I fully understand. I yeah. fully understand, but- so, I This think, is my um, fault. I should have looked at them more thoroughly because I was in attendance. The other question I would have is, it seems to me that we took a number of actions in that June 18th meeting, and I don't know, um, uh, where the public record of those actions uh, is, but it's not in the, it's not in the minutes. It's as, not in your packet. No, no, it's not I, in the I, minutes. Right. I hope. I hope, and I think it was the meeting was recorded. So it was. Well, yeah. So a, a more complete set of minutes is still available. Well, sure. Um, um, if we could access that, it isn't that you know people have to go back in memory. No. Um, but, but like Richard says, I mean, <clears throat> there's no detail there. Of what okay. we actually yeah. So we want a list of attendees. We want detail. And is there any other things that you might want in that those minutes well, now I mean, and in future? I mean, we we uh, reviewed um, quite a few um, proposed abatements uh, uh, or actions on a uh, on abatement requests. Um, I'm wondering whether that is supposed to be included in the minutes. Yeah, I would say so. So anything actionable or any recommendations should have been included. All right, so I move to table the approval of minutes for the next meeting. Second. Okay. The minute, I'm sorry, I'm, I move to, a, to table the approval of minutes for the June, uh, uh, June 18th, 2020 meeting to the next Board of Assessors meeting. Yeah, second that. Okay. Perfect. All those in Good favor vote. say aye, aye. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> You've got the only eye left there, uh, yeah. Lee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and now we, um, I think you have the floor, Liz, for, for motor vehicle abatement reports. Yes. We have, um, I, I assume you all have the agenda in front of you for today's meeting. Yeah, I had one thing I wanted to add to the agenda, Liz. Okay. Uh, and, and Richard, um, and that is the status of your administrative support. Well, okay. Um, I think that's coming in the principal assessor update, I think. And remember, what you can't add to the agenda unless uh, it's posted first. So okay, but you can right. certainly ask you know. me to, to provide that in my update, and I didn't intend to. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. Um, 
Okay, so let's get to it. Mm -hmm. And I do have... Um, Are you able to um, post uh, paperwork on the screen, Liz? Yes. Okay. Yes, All right. So um, let me see if I can do it. See if I can... manner. I'm going to try to go to the big picture here. Let me see if I can... There we go. Okay. Um, Liz, what is that backdrop of yours there? Uh, um, that's Brantford. Um, I lived in Brantford for okay. um, quite All a while. Right. I was the chairman of the board of assessors for Brantford. I'm sorry that I'm not providing some sort of similar. Um, hey, you know, I, I just sentimental didn't feel like, scene um, behind me. Having uh, just the run of the mill, I had to have some. I know that I know that Lee <laughs> is providing the backdrop from his old days on the Tonight Show. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that idea. All right. So I have. Um, well, that that that's the uh, the door to the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Your door looks a lot better than my door. Oh mm -hmm. darn! Sorry, I, I want to make sure that this is going the right direction so that we don't. And once again, we um, are um, Lee. I know Lee. Uh, I can't speak for Lee, but I know that I am not in a rush. So, however long it takes you to manipulate the uh, the technicalities here, Liz. I'm good until about 12 15. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, um, right now I am just trying to get this, make sure this is the right direction. It is. Okay. So here's our first one. Why it's doing this stuff? I don't know. Is Sean uh, still paying attention or is he gone? Yeah, I'm still uh, here. Okay. Sean, I'm still working with my, um, I'm trying to get the, the dangle of the angle of my new Adobe. Um, Adobe program. That was part of a, my staff updates, but um, let's see if I can do this correctly. Um, I know I've broken my personal record for being on Zoom this week. Have you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Various yeah. meetings. All right, let's see if I can share this correctly. And I've got a number of them to share. The town council members are really good at this stuff. Yeah, well, you know, documents. the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? Yeah. So um, hopefully this works out well. And um, I'm a little more prepared than I have been, but I also don't have any secretarial staff, which I'll get to when I get to that report. Um, let's see. So share. And we want to look at the screen. And let's make it, make it a full screen. This is our first actionable agenda. This is, um, oh, and we didn't do public participation. I have asked Teresa to put that in our agenda. Well, um, we don't have anybody. Um, we don't have any public, but um, I think it's regulation that you should have an opportunity for the public to speak. I don't know if that's here in this state, if that's true or. Um, well, we have not, we haven't been doing it um, prior to your arrival. Okay. Um, we do, How do not you feel have. About that? Um, I think when there are pe people who are present in the meeting, I think the, the then the, then I think after the call to order, there should be a request for that. There should be a some sort An of opportunity for the them to share. Yeah. yeah. But without anybody on online uh, right now, and um, I don't. It's a see new it. point. It's yeah. a new point. Okay. Okay. And, um, they did know. Um, at least I know one of the two uh, was aware that we were meeting. Well, yes, and I guess there's a way to get into our meetings from the AmherstMA.gov website. Yeah, it is published. Yes. Yeah, it is published. However, um, we did not in this particular agenda, although we did in the abatements, uh, allow for public participation early on in the meeting so that if someone wanted to add some kind of verbal comment or somehow impart their, their passion about the appeal, um, they would get that opportunity. Um, but it isn't on this agenda, so um, I thought I'd mention that just in future. I'll make sure that it is. Okay. Um, so the first thing we have here is signed motor vehicle abatement reports for June 3rd to the 19th. Um, the first one is for $1,425.99. So can you, can you uh, show the paperwork? Yes, I can. Um, so let's see if this is working here. Uh, I have it on another screen, so maybe I have to drag it over. Yeah, so um, when, you, Liz, when you go to share it, you, 
you can yeah. choose which application you share. So if you hit share screen, it should give you the option. She'll okay. list a bunch of, so you can share your screen, whiteboard, but then below that you should see um, one of the options should be Adobe Acrobat. Then that's going to share your, just your Acrobat. It won't show, it won't share your whole desktop. Okay, so, so how do I do that, John? Um, I, know, I know where I want to go. I just don't know. How yeah. To... So down at the bottom, you should see the. Um... I have the share screen open. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. Um, you should see. Do you see um, different applications? So you should see like your email, basically whatever you have open. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, there you go. No, wait a minute. Let's see. Yeah. You are so sharing. You... Yeah, so you're sharing your whole desktop, which is okay. Um, yeah, if you want to see my whole desktop, but that's exactly. I don't. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, so if you want to hit stop share, um, we can get you sharing out just the. Okay, uh, okay. Let's see if we can get this right. Yeah. So when you do. This is the document I'd like to share. So how yeah. is it? Best so when you for hit share it? screen, you should. Um, little window pops up and you have um, you have some options showing um, screen whiteboard and then below that it should list out some applications that you have open so if you had word open it would list out word okay yeah. so if I want them just to see this scan document, what is the best way to do that? So you should have um, Adobe Acrobat should should be an option. In this, uh, I have basic, advanced, and files. Yeah. Okay, so down below basic, you should see like screen and whiteboard. Yeah. And then down below that, you should see all the applications. Okay, so there's the Adobe that I was looking for. Yeah, okay. perfect. Yay, yep, so there that. we go, gentlemen. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> and so the way this should work uh, is you have that open and then any other scans that you open up will open up in Adobe. And okay. then you'll, um, right now you're sharing your whole Adobe application. So as you open up additional things in Adobe, it should continue to share and it's just gonna change to whatever, whatever tab you're clicking on up top. Very good, okay. okay well, this that... is our first agenda okay. actionable item. And as I recall, these are people who who got rid of their car during the school, during the year. Is that right? Or yes. yes yeah. So this is the uh, rebated. This is the rebated amount of their excise tax. Is that? That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Um, the only thing I don't like about this report is it really doesn't give you a reason why or when they actually dispose of the vehicle. So I'll see if I can't work on this report. Well, so there, well, this. under reason, mm -hmm. I see. You see a bunch of acronyms, but it's it's a very little meaning to you. Letter all. code. Legend. Do you know what T O and S C means? I, I what, what is? Honestly, no, I don't okay. know what those acronyms stand for. So, all right. Um, in the future, what I'll do, and I know that there's only a few actionable items that we will we are allowed to make an abatement for. Um, basically, the the general criteria is the uh, cancellation or transfer of the registration, the sale, the disposal, or destruction of the, of the vehicle in question. Uh -huh. They have to prove that the vehicle transferred title or was destroyed okay. or registered out of state. That's mm. all of balance. So um, okay. I, I can assure you these were vetted correctly and that they, um, they did have to substantiate those, those actual, um, actual items. Okay, and, and what is the mechanism that we're gonna to use to, um, to sign these? Um, what you need to do is approve them in this meeting. And then um, we have uh, your stamp to sign them, if that's okay with you. If that's not okay with you, I have no objection running them to your home or to lease home to sign physically. No, I'm, I'm okay with that. What the, worked the last time, Richard? What worked we, before? We did, we did um, we did uh, some kind of a. I made a motion for your signature to cover for all of us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I did not sign anything from the last meeting. Um, I think we used some kind of electronic signature, or um, we used a stamp. We used a stamp. A stamp. Okay. Um, right. and, and because in, in, in the the education that I recently received um, concerning this matter, um, it was uh, determined that if a vote was taken 
in the actual me meeting and um, it was recorded, then it is okay to use um, the, the signature stamps or electronic stamps. Okay. So, so I take it the cycle date means that's the, that's the date of the excise tax bill? Um, the cycle date. I'm sorry. Let's see where I'm looking here. I'm just, a, they, they all have. The, yes, that's when they were billed. All of them except two have February 28th. Is that right, the date? because that some the, of them might be a supplemental bill or something for a vehicle purchase okay, after all right. the first. So I move to approve those 18 abatements um, for, uh, on the week uh, uh, during the period June 3rd, 2020 to June 19th, 2020. Okay. Second. All right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. okay. So we can go to the next one. Okay. And then we have to we we have to approve your signature, the use of the stamp, right? Um, I, I uh, don't believe you have to. I believe what I was instructed was as long as you approve um, the action, then we can sign on your behalf using the um, you know whatever method I could sign for you. Um, but it's um, a matter of getting it approved in the meeting minutes and having it recorded. Okay. Well, I'm I'm dependent on your um, your de your uh, determination as to what is legally sufficient. Thank you. So the so the approval is also includes the use of the stamp. Is that what we're saying? I think that that's is, what we're saying. Yes. Yeah, that's the standard practice, I guess, okay. um, that's been adopted. And um, because you know, the last time, Richard, um, we 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 went through each one and approved your signature on each one. But that's okay. I mean, let's let's. Just... I think the vote did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. that's what we're doing this time. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Okay. So we go to June twenty third next. Okay. So our next one. Let's see if I can get this right. And see if it's going to come up correctly. I should say. I'm sorry, I have to rotate view. I didn't think about that when I was scanning these things. All right, are you seeing my screen or do I have to share screen again? You have to share. I think you have shared the screen again. Okay. Sorry about that. This is our second one. Um, this okay. one is uh, an abatement of 479.32. It's okay. similar in nature to the one before. Now the only problem is is that when I uh, when you share the screen, then I have to okay. I've taken your taken our pictures down temporarily. Ah, just to there look you at, go. How's just that? To look at them. Okay. Hi okay, Ken. Are... Thanks for joining us. All right. Oh, he's on mute. Okay. All right. Ken, can you speak? You're muted. Can you take yourself off mute? Sean, is that something you have to do? No, that's on Ken's end. It looks like he may not have any audio connected. No. Okay. Ken, if you don't have a speaker on your um, computer, what you can do is actually call in on the phone number provided. Do you have the phone number provided, Ken? No. <laughs> Let's see what we can do there. Um, hmm. I can resend the email to Ken if, if that helps. That yeah, would you do that just so that he yeah. can get that? Ken, we're going to resend the email to you so you have the phone number to dial in if you don't have audio through your computer. Okay. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. No problem. In a minute to settle back in. I don't know whether he's. Uh... Yep. So, Ken, you should have. You should receive an email. It will show as coming from Angela Mills, I believe. Okay. You know you don't make a great substitute, Angela, right? <laughs> I'm only not, teasing. Not as pretty. <laughs> You're handsome. Don't worry. You're, you get to keep that. Thanks. She has more hair. <laughs> All right. So... Um, the second item on our agenda is for $479.32. Again, we have um, eight abatements. Uh, it is uh, in the, the February and one in April uh, cycle date. And um, is there any questions on this one? 
Yeah, no, I just in the future would like to know what the uh, what the what the codes are for the reason. Just yeah, you know, I agree with you. I I'm in I'm you. you know I'm in year four now, and I probably ought to know stuff like that. Yeah, just, uh, you know, just good question. Um, okay, I, I would I, think SC would be sold. Sold car. What do you think TC? TC is might be total car. Told car. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I, yeah. I'm just. There's usually are, only a couple of uh, options when it comes. To yeah, those are getting those an are, abatement. Those are good guesses. Yeah. Uh, so, so I move to ap approve those eight abatements from the, the date, June 23rd, 2020. Okay. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Um, Ken, if you like, you can always put a thumbs up. I'll take that as an aye. If you're around. I can see that his screen is up, but I cannot hear him, which is unfortunate. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we still got a quorum, so we do. We do indeed. Um, okay. Okay. So let's we can get to our next item. Okay. So we got those two done. Okay. Uh, and I'm sorry. I have to spin these as I bring them up. I didn't think about rotating them. Uh, you have to. You have to turn them on the screen. Yes. Unfortunately, I didn't really. Think of that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know how to do that. Okay. Well, you know what. Need is the mother of necessity or whatever. Yes. There you are. There you are. Well, we've got his Hi, chest. Ken. We've got his chest now. That's good. At least his chest is here. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay, there we go. Still no sound. All right, gentlemen, are you seeing what I have on to show or if I have to scan no. again? Uh, share you, have, again? you have to share it again. There we go. Well, at least I don't feel idiot. I don't have it sideways. <laughs> there we go. Okay, our third. Um, yeah, and I just have to figure okay. out how to, how to do this. The screen sharing comes in behind the pictures. Okay, here we go. So this is um, 18 abatements from, uh, from uh, the period June 25th, 25th to June 30th. Uh, and um, once again, total amount uh, is uh, seventeen ninety three eighty eight in reduction. Okay, all right. I move to approve those eighteen uh, abatements. Second. Okay. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Ken, we That's lost fine. your picture. Here he is. There he is. Hi, Ken. I think I now. Yeah, yeah, you my voice? Yes, yeah. we can hear you. Okay. We this have some screen sharing going on, Ken. Can you see that? Yeah, sure do it, Ken. Would you like to agree or disagree with this abatement for 1793? Yeah, I'll agree if everybody else has. We already have, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that's the third one. Okay. We we now move to the uh, and Ken just so you know we tabled the uh, approval of minutes because the minutes didn't appear to be in um, in uh, adequate for the last meeting didn't appear to be in shape for approval. Okay. All right. I don't know whether you've looked at them or not, but they didn't seem to be quite right. Okay. Okay. Let's go and to. Honestly, I would agree. <laughs> let's go to um, July the. July 8th. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're getting good at this, Liz. Uh, was, I'm getting better. Was, <laughs> I wouldn't call was, it good. That was quick. Um, now, are those two different totals or, or is that a running total? I can't tell. Um, I believe That's a running the amount total. that we're, we're looking at is $2,094.42 in all. Okay, we're looking at. Because there's uh, a total of nine abatements. Now, why Three of them are for New England Charter Service. Now, why is the year 2019 on those? Um, because that's from a different tax fiscal year. That was oh, from okay. fiscal All year right. 19. These are okay. from fiscal year 20. And that's why these three were isolated separately. Now, why, why did it take? I'm just curious. Um, sure. And if, if, you know, if I ask, uh, why are we addressing three from 2019 that are just coming up on July 8th, 2020? Why is that? What's the, do you have any idea? You know, I'd really like to tell you that I know the reason, but I don't know okay. what our, our right. stands for. Okay. All right. Um, I'm assuming that these were, um, you know, uh, validly adjusted because it looks like an adjustment, not a wipeout. Okay. So they might have, so. they might have sold the cars and, 
for some reason. Yeah, I just don't know what RR stands for. You know, uh, yeah. TC, know what, I think it's total car. Do we know what New England Charter Service is in here in Amherst? Nope, I nope. don't. But I mean, I can look it up real quick if you like. That's all right. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that they are a transportation service. Yeah, okay. You know, of some sort. Okay. Or um, perhaps they're a distribution service. Guess next time we reasons would tell us all the answers. All this. Yeah, you know what? That's one thing what we discussed is. earlier on. Ken was. Um, I'd like to have the yeah. legend for this available to you to yeah. go with this report because it's not as meaningful without the legend, just as the map is not. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so I move to approve those nine abatements. Uh, okay. Period July. Uh, I'm sorry. Period uh, uh, on the date July eighth, twenty twenty. Okay. I move to approve those. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's two thousand ninety-four dollars and forty-two cents. Okay. Let's see if I do as good with this next one. So how does this work? The, the the town then issues a check to those folks. Um. What happens is um, it goes for finance, I think, and then they make approvals to cut the check and. Sometimes I think some things could avoid some of the bureaucracy, <laughs> but you know. Okay, um, and our last one is a small amount for July 9th. That's correct. Um, so here, let's share this. This was for thirty-four dollars and twenty-three cents from Miss Wentler. Okay, that uh, looks from like fiscal one, year twenty twenty. One car, mm -hmm. and I, we're inferring maybe that SC stands for sold car. It makes sense because it doesn't look like they've adjusted it completely off, which okay. would sometimes indicate right. that they, you know, didn't have it or wasn't here or something. All right, I move to approve uh, that amount, thirty-four dollars and twenty-three cents for that abatement. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Excellent. All right. Okay. Now, so now we're getting on to the real estate abatements. Um, these are the ones that were. Granted at the last session, I believe in June. Um, these is we've we've already. These are um, uh, actually. I'm sorry. Them. Granted appeals. Um, so yeah. let me bring those up. So we've already reviewed and approved these. Yes, we have. Mm -hmm. So I'm um so I'm a little. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get my sense uh, procedurally of what, what happened on the, the, this large amount. Uh, let me just get this right side up so it'll be giving you what you need to see. Okay. Um, um, So this is going to show us the listing, and I have to hit share screen again. I'm sorry. Okay. So here's the first couple. Uh, there's a summary: fifty-one thousand nine hundred forty-three. And okay, I'm 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 completely. I really don't understand what what this is. Um, don't worry, it gets better. Okay. Okay. So. Overvaluation, these are the abatements. These are the ones that you approved at the last I'm meetings. I'm trying to recall, did we meet did we meet on June twenty third? Um yes. Okay. Yes. So All right. June twenty third, you approved these abatements. And these are the adjustments accordingly. Okay. So I guess what I'm trying to find out is figure out is what are we doing looking at them again? Um I believe that uh, she put them on here, she said sign real estate abatements. Um, I got a feeling in the past we've never seen like this. We approve them and then we're done with it, is my feeling. I, no, it does seem redundant, doesn't it? Yeah. And then you just verify when you get this from the controller that you verify that what we approved is the same thing. And I okay. don't think we've ever voted on this before. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't seem to make sense. I think what no. she was trying to show to you is that these were the adjustments that you approved. Is there I, don't a... that, I don't think it's an actionable item, but she said here, sign real estate abatements. Um, that doesn't seem to make sense. Who signs, you or us or? 
Who's this says sign real estate abatements for. Is, is there a signature it says, line? Granted appeals, granted exemptions. So um, I don't think that's quite accurate because I don't think you need to sign off on it twice. No. You know, whether it's in report form or not. I think we looked so, at these already. I don't think this yeah. is an actionable item. Um, okay. But it's nice to share the report in its, in its totality um, to show you exactly what you you actually, um, you know, have reviewed and, and the adjustments and how they all right they is there out. is there a signature line in this document um let me go to the very top i'm going to move your pictures for a minute i don't see where this matches anything um it does oh, have sign this on the report I, I, but I'm, i think this would be more appropriate if this was presented in the actual meeting but that would be presuming that you agreed to them before you presented them yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Isn't that now, I'm I'm trying to remember. Was this in the set of documents that I uh, that I that was delivered to my house that I signed? Uh, probably. I um boy. Yeah, yeah, it was probably. Um, oh, I, okay, I, that I, makes I, sense then. Yeah, but this is what you you what you would end up signing off on. Um, but basically, right. from my my education recently, you don't need to sign these things. All you need to do is vote on them in the meeting. And then they can be processed as um, as being okay. okay. Well, let's go on that assumption, unless you get back to us and say that won't work. I think that's the the case. So for any of these that we're looking at, these um, these three, it says right here that you granted the appeals, you granted the exemptions for eighteen fifty four and one thousand thirty. So I think it's a mute point for you to go over those again, since you've already reviewed them in your previous Okay, but did we, did we meet on those dates, June 16th and June 17th? We didn't um, meet on those dates. So what do those dates correspond to? That's a good question. I didn't actually ask her. Um, I'm, ha I'm going to have to get back to you on those, you know, but it does obviously say that they were granted. And when I'm looking at these um, reports that she's, provided to us i think we met only once in june didn't we um we met twice yeah <clears throat> all right okay. Okay. okay but they were it wasn't two days apart it was a week apart yeah it was a week apart yeah as, as i remember the process we approved but then they have to go to finance uh, and finance sends us a document which is the total of of the actions that they are going to take. And so we have to approve finance is doing what they do. Oh, is that how it works? Well, that's what I remember. That seems so, um, yeah. rather redundant, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But that's what I remember that we did. Ah, okay. I don't know if it's a checks and balances so, that maybe the auditors are looking for, but so I- Do we need to approve signatures on these things? Oof. Wait. Yes. Not my call, really, but I, I would say that no, because you've already granted. But I guess what they're, what, you, what they're asking is they're, they're asking you well, to look at this and see if this is what you agreed to. All right. I, I think I'm going to move to um, approve signatures on these three items. Okay. Just just so they can, in case. Yeah. Is, that, is everybody comfortable with approving our signatures? Yeah, on? That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This one that's up now does match the amount of the second item that's listed for June sixteenth, where we. If you look at the bottom, Lee, you'll see the number right there. Yeah, eighteen fifty four. It does match. Okay. The second right. Item. All right. And um, it is the same. Okay. All right. So I move that we approve signatures for the three items under uh, on the agenda on, on, uh, that indicate signed real estate abatements. Right. I approve, that we approve signatures for those. Right. So that Liz can submit those. Right, second. So, I, okay, I just amend that to after Liz checks these to make sure that's these are the things we approve. Yes, absolutely. And yeah. um, okay. I agree right. with that. That's fine. And uh, as long as she's comfortable, this date makes sense. It's probably yeah. it looks like an entry date. Yeah. Not I mean, they might even did. they might even be listed in our minutes. Right. Yeah. That's why if we had a detailed minutes, we could make, 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 make the, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I really want to have a conversation and say, you know, I, I like the minutes to be informative so that if someone was not in attendance, they'd get the gist of what you were doing. Yeah. 
And, oh, and we wow. met on the 11th and 18th. That's why I'm trying to, like you, one, what's the date here? The 11th okay. and the 18th of, of June. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, that's right. We did meet. That's right. We did meet twice. This, which is why it's odd that the um, the dates are different than our meeting dates. Yeah. But maybe that's when the reports were issued. Were prepared. we got to enter? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, because right. they're 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 not long after the date. Because this is the seventeenth. This is after the eleventh, but before the eighteenth. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. So that makes and sense. I guess in general, I'm. I'm fully on board of, we have to sign where we have to sign, but we don't want to sign more often than we have to sign. <laughs> well, that's something I was, I was discussing with the board. Um, I was recently at some educational offerings by MMAAO. And um, what they said is that uh, in one of our workshops that if it is approved in the minutes, then you do not have to physically sign them. Um, you can actually, Okay. And leave, we leave it up to you to check. All right, yeah. and now and now we have these recordings, which we didn't have before. That's so, correct. Yeah, so, that's great. So we're we live on forever in these meetings now. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, let's not live on forever. Make sure you're okay. dapper cells, right? Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So now we move on to signing the warrant to the collector. Yeah, this is the big big Kahuna. <laughs> This is yeah. the big Kahuna. This is the approval to collect taxes for this coming fiscal year, correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. This is the real estate warrant. All right. And as you can see, it's and, and twenty-seven you're million. And you're presenting it large. Thirteen, eight, twenty-one, and twenty cents. Okay. And you've presented it, so I can actually look at it. Wow, this is yeah. great. Wow, yeah, that's great. I'm, I'm speed reading here. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry if I'm. I'm I'm flashing this is to this is the this is the general boilerplate language that we approve, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Now this says nineteenth day of June. Obviously, it's not the nineteenth day of June. Uh, I guess that's um, that's the warrant date, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, because you're giving her permission to institute the warrant. Okay, I move that we approve the um, the the uh, warrant to the collector uh, okay. of twenty seven million two hundred thirteen thousand eight hundred twenty one dollars and twenty cents in real estate taxes for fiscal year twenty twenty one. Second. All those in favor of approving the warrant, please say aye. 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 Okay, excellent. Okay, that's approved. Now we go to the. The CPA tax, which is essentially the surcharge on the real estate taxes for the Community Preservation Act. Right. Hey, I'm getting pretty slick at this. You got to give me credit, eh? I am giving you credit. Okay. <laughs> so here is the warrant. Here is the warrant to collect that amount. Yes, it is. Um, I always forget how the calculation is done. It's I think the first hundred thousand dollars of real estate value is is exempt. Is, uh, exempt and then what's the percentage after that uh three percent three percent okay yeah. so this is the um i take it that this is the amount uh, that corresponds to the uh the, the act the real estate that was taxed in the first amount right that's correct okay all right that's the correlation that goes all right with i am move i move that we approve our signatures on the warrant to the collector uh, for CPA tax fiscal year 2021, $616,675.91. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Third item is the personal property tax. And I'm trying to remember now from my from my time at the school what the personal property tax tends to what those items tend to be what that property tends to be I'm trying to remember now. And this is everything. This is real estate tax as we yeah. discussed. So where's this the, is the where personal is, property tax? Where's the and warrant for that? This is the CPA. Um, what is this so considered? Where, where's the warrant for that? That's the notice of commitment. Okay, so let me see. Did I miss one? 
There it is. There it is. Uh, no, that's the that's, oh, the, that's the, the CPA. Where's where's the personal property tax? Okay, let's see. Enter. That one we already saw. Hmm. Let me look in the folder itself and get this. This one works. This is all that was there, honestly. Well, I guess we can take a vote on the amount that's yeah. showing up. And, I mean, and the amount is 988,731.37 for personal property. 988,000. Yeah, 988,731 yeah. and 37 cents. So we approve the amount, and then when you find your warrant, um, you can uh, have it signed. Yes. Based on that amount. Yes, it is. I don't see it among this group there, though. It's very odd. What if they got stuck together? Real estate, real estate. You would think it'd be right be in between the two. Yeah. Yeah. No. I just have the real estate here. And then I have the notice of commitment. And that's what we're looking at now is the notice of commitment. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, you know what? Further on, it has the personal property. And I'll show you. There we go. So we did not miss something. Mm -hmm. In there? And maybe out of order to some degree. Not this one. They did this one. Uh, that's the notice of commitment. Got to remember to um, be sure to label these before I have to do this. There we go. Yay. I found it, gentlemen. It's in pink. This is the, uh, the warrant for the personal okay. property. Okay. And this is for the 988, 731, and 37 cents. Okay. And I'm trying to, um, I have no sense of uh, these amounts relative to other years. Any sense of, any sense of whether this is a higher amount, a lower amount than last year or? I can certainly So look. these are mostly cars? These are mostly um, cars? This is businesses. And this is only for businesses that exceed $10,000 in value. Okay. So they're business assets. That's furniture, fixtures, and equipment. Oh, okay. Yeah, electronic equipment, uh, everything. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, I, you know, I did ask David when we got here about like the apartment complexes and things like that. And that's incorporated in the real estate as these whole improvements. So, um, you know, it makes it kind of tough actually when they have a $10,000, um, first $10,000 exempt. Um, Cause it makes it hard for me to kind of tease out who's being honest and who's not. Um, they all are expected to do a form of list. Um, but um, I have to look into it further to see how, how we police this correctly. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, that is our commitment. Okay, so I, I, I move to approve the warrant for personal property tax for fiscal year 2021 in the amount of $988,731.37. Second. All those in favor, please say, please say aye. 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 Okay. Excellent. Unanimous? Yes. All right. Next amount is the pro rata tax. I, I have no idea what this is. Liz? Um, a pro rata tax is basically for, um, this was the back side, by the way. I think we need that. Okay, a pro rata tax, just so you know, is basically um, 
it is for uh, a portion of the year, not the complete tax period. Um, so in this case, um, let's see, there's only $7,770 and this was for property um, 6B89. Let me look that up so I can give you an idea of who we're talking about here. This is Omega Star Child Seminars, Inc. at 45 Overlook Drive is 6B89. And it appears, wow. Um, I've had it for a while, so that's not something recent. Um, a pro rata tax is usually for only a portion of the year, and this is for real estate. Um, when I'm looking at this particular parcel, um, it, it looks as though uh, they had some improvements done, and they're only for a portion of the year. So that's why it would be pro rata. So it changed status? Yes, but it's only for a part of the year. Um, I think this might be for exemptions, though. I think this is um, something that might have been exempt or is exempt, and they're doing it for a portion of the year. Let me see if there's more detail with this document. Um, this is the document. Have I shared it with you, gentlemen? Not yet. No. Okay, so let me share the document with you that I'm looking at. Um, this document is uh, the warrant for fiscal year 21 and uh, I don't see anything further on this. It seems like we should have more detail to them. Let's see if there's anything, maybe I cut off the bottom. Yeah, there wasn't anything else with this. 6B89, there's one behind it for 171 for the same property. See if there's something yeah, else behind that's the, that. Yeah, that's the CPA surcharge. Okay. That's the CPA surcharge on the property, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. But 6B89 is this particular parcel. And... Let me show you what that looks like. So 6B89 is the, is the, um, the map designation. And lot. Oh, okay. All right. That's okay. the map and lot. Let me share that, share what I'm looking at with you. Um, I'm sharing screen. Let me stop sharing this one and try and do this new one. I'm trying to show you. So this is a um, property up in Amherst Woods. Is that right? Uh, right here. Uh, I think it was Amherst Woods. Well, I, I thought you gave me an address. I thought it sounded like Amherst Woods. Oh, maybe. Let's see. You're, you're all better at this than I am. It's um, 45 Overlook. It's in that neighborhood. But Overlook. I don't, yeah. So I guess. That's where's North, o, where's Overlook, Lee? But North Omega North. Star oh, that's, Child that's, Seminars. That's North, is, that's North. That's North Amherst? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. The only thing I don't like is um, I like to put notes in the in the property for why we're doing anything. Yeah. So I would like to try and uh, see why we would be doing this on our records um, so, for anything really. You know, when someone does an abatement or or um, you know they're appealing what, or they're having an what, influence. I would can you tell when the action was taken? What the date? It was early in the year. Or? This one says the, the um, so this look, sounds like a, um, sounds like the bill on a house lot, but why it got, why it got separated out, I don't understand. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why it was separated out. Maybe it was missed. That's the only thing I can think of. Is maybe it was a late addition. But then why why is it referred to as pro rata? Uh, pro rata I means that it's only a portion of the tax period that they're being taxed. Um, you know what I think this is is possibly an apportionment. You know, because um, I know we've had a request for an apportionment. But it wasn't a recent sale, and it doesn't indicate that it's a recent subdivision. If you like, we can table this until I know more about well, it. I, I, let's I, let's I table think, it. I don't think we can vote on it without knowing what it is. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming, I'm going inferring that the CPA is simply the surcharge on that property that corresponds to the- It corresponds to, it corresponds to the additional so, tax. Um, so, so you know what I can do that might help us resolve this and get this done with is um, I might be able to just ask um, Jennifer, you know, if she's aware of this particular one so she can give me some insight. She's only around the corner if you want me to ask her. Okay, we're running out of, yeah, we we're, uh, Lee's got about 13 more minutes. Right. Okay, let me, let me ask her because she's right in front of me. Okay. And that's right. the last thing on our agenda other than okay. my report. Um, okay. Okay. Just a second. Yep. How are your knees doing? Better, uh, but they, they're they weird. Um, uh, I'm doing my, my uh, uh, weighted squats with 45 pound weights. Mm. I'm doing my leg press wow. machine. Um, but uh, I have some pain in the left one and I don't know what that's about uh, that I notice when I'm in bed. Uh, and other than that, um, they're coming along. I'm interested. I'm hoping that I can actually, even with COVID, get to go up there and, and talk to my surgeon in August, which is the one-year anniversary. Okay. Um, but um, climbing mountains still seems a little uh, distant. Hmm. <laughs> well, some might... My wife, she she still has her original needs, but they she's had a lot of trouble with them. Her climbing mounds is no problem for her. It's walking on flat concrete roads. Oh no, for me it's all it's all about climb, going down, okay. downstairs and down. And I'm better. I'm better now. And they, you know, they feel sturdier. There's just no doubt about that. But um, yeah. all right, this is on me, gentlemen. I forgot. Okay. Um, honestly. There's a follow-up document that goes with this, and I just didn't realize it goes with um, this document. And I typed it up, so I'm losing my marbles. What can I tell you? Uh, still got enough. I sure hope so. Let's get to it. There we go. So this is what's going on here. Let me just hit share. And we'll get to down to it. So here is my Word documents. Hmm. Showing all windows. Where is the Word document? Are you still in Adobe, Liz? Um, this particular hmm. document's in Word, so that's why I'm questioning why it is not letting me have that as an option. Document. Oh, you know what though? It is in Word because I scanned it. After that. Screen sharing has failed to start. The window you selected is invalid. Okay. Well, how did I do that? Let's try that again. Okay. There it is. Yay. I did it. There we so, go. Yeah. Good job. This is for closing. That's what so, this was about. 
So, so when, we are when, looking for the apportioned taxes for the July fifteenth is today, right? That's correct. Okay. And basically, what happens is the closing is happening, so they're um, they're trying to uh, apportion the taxes. Okay. That's so what this is about. They're trying to remove the first fifteen days of July from the taxes. Is that is that basically? Yeah. The yes. first fifteen days of the of the um, of the fiscal year. Correct. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. This is great, Liz. Yeah, well, I, I like doing spreadsheets like this because it helps okay. to All right. explain All it right. to me. I even put the statute that way. All right, wow, this is, wow, this is great. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. Um, Good job. And so as much for a, me as it is for you, to be right. honest with you. And there's as you can CPA. see, I, I couldn't make heads or tails of those other two documents. They were okay, coming. there's the CPA. Yep. All right, okay. So, okay, I move to approve the warrant for this particular uh, property for the pro rata tax. Um, uh, FY 2021 for, for 6B-89 uh, in the amount of $7,700. Mm -hmm. $7,770. I'm sorry, excuse me, excuse me, $7,770. Thank you for the correction, Lee. No problem. All right, I move to approve that amount. Second. Second. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 And then aye. I also uh, aye. move... I also move to approve the CPA tax for that same parcel right. uh, for FY 2021 in the amount of $171.73. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. So great. we're taking care of that. Thank you, Liz. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, good. you're welcome. Hopefully I'll get better at this as time right. goes so on. So we only had one parcel that that happened in the entire town. Right. Right now. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. But trust and, me, there's lots of closings going and on. What was the exemption for? Do you, do we know? Um, it was a group home. Oh, it was a and what? It's going into a taxable status. I believe. Okay. All right. But from exempt exempt to taxable. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Do we have anything to do executive session on? Um, we do. We do. Um, oh, we okay. Two, we have two abatements uh, to discuss. And um, I believe we can announce them before we go into executive session. We have we don't, those off the attendees, right? We don't have anybody on. We don't, we have, don't anybody. have anybody attending at this point. Yet. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, basically, we have two. One of them uh, came in late, so we will not be able to discuss this, um, I believe, because uh, a Mr. Greg Bascom and Bonnie McCracken um, didn't file theirs until June the 30th. So I believe you cannot hear them because it has exceeded the time um, to, to hear them. So, uh, and that was for property at 8 Chadwick Court and Echo Hill. And so they were late by, how, how long were they late by? A couple of months, actually. A couple of months. Okay. All right. Yeah. So there was a filing deadline and they missed it. Yep. All right. And yep. have they been informed of what the deadline is next? This is, was for an abatement on their property? Well, this is interesting because it says here that um, they were applying for a senior um, application for tax relief. Mm -hmm. And... Okay. They were they were late in applying, even with the extension. Unfortunately, okay. All right. There was a COVID nineteen extension. We did have COVID nineteen extensions. And, okay, uh, so so they missed that too. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. That's really unfortunate. So there, there's nothing for us to act on. There is that right? Unfortunately, no. Okay. All right. There's um, there's nothing more that we can do. So that was a that was an application for an exemption, right? This is an application for, um, it's a um, senior exemption. Okay. And it's under um, Massachusetts statute uh, 59 uh, subsection five. And um, that is for seniors. Okay. And they have a, a, a bunch of criteria that they have to meet in order to be eligible. Right, and the extension was to June 1st, right? Right. And this is coming in at, you know, June 30th, so we're well beyond the, the, the extension date, unfortunately. The, um, 
I, I think the only time that they would be eligible to appeal it, and they, they certainly can appeal it as if they had extenuating medical sister, uh, conditions and so forth, and they can right. certainly appeal that. Okay. 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 All right. Anything um, else? We do have an executive session for um, the property that was appealed by um, the uh, Montgomery Mills, and I'll bring up that appeal. Do we officially have to move into executive session to be real? Oh, there's no one here. You know, well, I'm just I'm, thinking in the future, is there a process we should be going there through? Is, there is. There is. There is. Ken, you're right. There is, and I need to get up to speed on it. Okay. So, the property we're going to consider is 134 Montague Road. And this is owned by W.D. Coles. Oh, hold on just a second. Sean, are you still there? Sean, because he does seem to be here. Yeah, I want him to cut off the, the access from the outside since we're in executive session. Okay, I might be able to do You might be able to do it. I wonder how I do that. Okay, there's nobody there, but that's the point that that that, that access should be cut off when, when we're in access. Yeah. And it's still still somebody could pop in at any time at this point. Allow panelists to start video. Well, I'm suggesting we go ahead and just watch to make sure nobody comes in because if somebody comes in, we have to stop. Understood. Mm -hmm. Understood. Um, you know what, unfortunately, I've really got to learn a little bit more about this, but I think I can open a waiting room so that they have to get permission to come in. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking at my time, so if That's we can- all right, I, yeah, um, okay. Lee's, Lee's running so out of time, um, so. Let's get to the matter, the matter and you know, um, this particular property is very complex. Um, as you know, uh, there's North Square, and then there's the commercial element below it. Um, this is uh, in North Amherst on Coles Road and Montague Road. You know where that is. Um, yep. There's um, the, comp the, the new high-rise apartments that are there. Um, they're just now getting occupied. And they had Atkins there, and they had the commercial that was being built below those apartments. And, uh, you know, based on the appeal that they've given us is they have, um, you know, they're saying, well, hey, you know, we're we're, we're losing our Adkin tenant. We're, we're um, not making um, the profit we had anticipated at this juncture. But, you know, I asked David about this. Um, the appeal that they gave us is they said... And who is they? This would be W.D. Coles. And oh, okay. this would be Cinda Jones and um, her, her representative uh, accountant, Ron Hyde, um, held. Um, I met with them, I reviewed the properties and so forth. Um, you know, and I can see some of it as being genuine, but uh, actually not for this appeal period, it would be for the next appeal period. You know, because one of the things that um, David pointed out to me is, this is the determination of the land that got increased, not for the new construction. And that's where it gets really confusing for both the taxpayer and anybody really, um, because we're determining the value as of January 2019. Okay. 2000 what? 19. January 1, 2019 is, is what we're charged with establishing the value. And the, the value was established based on what they were getting for lease rates from the tenant, which would have been Beacon, uh, who developed the apartments. And uh, the introduction of COVID and the vacation of uh, Atkins didn't even have any bearing at that point. Um, so, you know, they're only- So when would, the land, when would the land be revalued? Does, is it revalued every year? The or? land gets revalued. Um, well, you know, if it has more than a 10% fluctuation, um, and in this case, it's actively in, under construction, it's gonna be looked at again for next, for January 20. And even at that point, COVID is still uh, not on the, the scope at that point. And, um, you know, they haven't stabilized their rents. Normally what happens with something that's under construction, just to, so you have so, an idea from an appraisal standpoint, we usually use the cost approach. But in this case, we're looking at land and the impact of the lease on the land. 
Now, as I recall, this came up in a meeting yesterday, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, somebody asked a question about this, uh, how you value based on the state. And I did give uh, a brief explanation. Um, normally, yeah. we use the cost approach to value for something that's under construction. Right. I, I'm, I'm trying the, to remember the I'm trying to remember the context in which it came up in a meeting yesterday. You I think they were we? asked basically the contribution of what that apartment complex was going to bring to the area and to the tax dollars. But um, yeah, you, they asked how we how we derive the value. Yeah, you used the example of a house with four bedrooms. If the kids move out, the house yes. is well, yeah. Remember that, Richard? I do yes. remember that. Yeah, and I believe this yeah. came up in the context of council member Shane. Right. Asking about the, the big complex there. Right. Yeah, because they're they're saying, hey, you know, with COVID, um, you know, having these apartments filled is going to be probably not happening right away. You yeah. know, and, um, well, we've and got, um, yeah. you know, still, we still have a wait and see kind of climate right now mm -hmm. to determine what's going to be January's value. Right. Um, but January 20 is going to be what's going to be issued next year at this time. So what's your recommendation so this, this? Well, right now, it, the, neither the rent has been stabilized nor the, um, uh, you know, we, we don't know what the, the income and expense information that we gather. I'm sending out income and expense information um, gathering for all these you know, rental unit uh, type properties so yeah. that we can get a clear understanding as well as the retail um, so that we can get a clear understanding of the impact of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, but in actuality, that won't even happen until not next July, next June, but the following June. So how much of an abatement did they ask for? Um, they asked for they said the value on their taxes was two million six sixty nine one hundred. They want two million one forty one. So that's um, that's quite a quite a difference. So uh, I guess I'm confused. Is, is this subject to the lease that Beacon has on it, or is that's it right? Pretty clear, right. or is it this is clear? A, this is a, a clear increase based on what their lease agreement was with Beacon and how it impacted the land value. Because remember, they're keeping the land. They're only, um, Beacon only owns the structure, but they have a considerable lease period. Um, but the, um, they're still going to have the land after all is done and said. And the land is only worth what they can lease it for, basically. Excuse me, folks, I'm going to have to leave. And yeah. I think this, this needs another meeting or another call. Yeah. But they're asking for just so you have an idea. It's five hundred and twenty-eight thousand one hundred dollars in reduction. We'll see y'all. Oh, for for okay. Bye, bye, Lee. Bye, bye, Lee. Thank you for attending. For, sure. So this is for fiscal year twenty twenty-one that they're asking for this. Uh, this abatement. is for this. Yeah, for this um, this tax period. Yep. Okay. I'd like to. I'd like to see more. You'd like to see more. What is I'd it like you would to, like to see? Well, I I just like. I can show you what they what they presented to us. So you um, you you're recommending a denial of this, right? Um, based on what David said to me, um, it, it does seem clear that they're only being taxed for the land, and the land is based on what they were receiving for income. No. So yes, I would recommend denying it um, because yeah. I think I think what they're pointing out to us is for consideration next year, not this year. Well, so. I like That's what they're asking for. They're asking for this year, right? Um, they are asking for this tax period to be reduced. And yeah, I'd, I'd like to see this tax paper. period. Um, the bill in itself has actually gone to Beacon. It hasn't even gone to uh, WB Coles. I'm completely confused. Yeah, exactly. Um, the you know, I wrote it down so that I could uh, I could uh, decipher what David said. Um, basically, this is what he said. Oops, let's see, how can I, how can I get that back? Are you seeing the Word document so the, the, I have? 
So this is not, this is a, uh, yeah. these are notes from David. These are summary notes of, of what I gathered from David's uh, conversation with Coles and with their accountant. Um, he okay. said he doesn't think they're getting it. The um, current it's, really, it's really two parts to this commercial property. There's the structures and then there's the land. The land is owned by the WD Coles Corporation and uh, you know, Ms. Jones and uh, that's the property that they're gonna retain even after um, you know, Beacon has you know, started their apartments and so forth. Um, however, uh, the apartments and the rental units are not actually incorporated in this value. This, this value is, is only concerning the, um, the increases due to the land lease. And that's what David had said. And he said the Atkins building value is based on January of 19 and the current difficulties have no relevance. Let, let me back up for a minute. What, and they just gave, filed this in the last 30 days or month? Oh no, 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 they filed this in February, February 3rd. Okay. So they yeah. filed it in February, and when yeah, do we have to respond? before COVID. Okay. And when are we supposed to have responded to this by? Um, we have extended the time, and they've given us that extension. So um, what's it extended? But they're expecting, they are expecting a response. Um, let me show you their actual appeal in its entirety. And that it what's it extended to? What date? Um, they did not give us a, a particular date in which to respond. However, I think if they, um, they if they want to appeal to the appellate tax board, um, we're going to have to um, we're going to have to give them some kind of response. Um, let's see here. Well, let me get to their abatement so you can see the physical abatement that they supplied. Okay, so I can share this with you. Okay, so this is their physical abatement document. As you can see, they said 134 Montague Road. And um, you know, they did give me an update. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, sure, Stop I'm so up. sorry. Here you go. Yep. The 1956 um, Hemlock frame building is fully out of date. And limited but that's for Cottage Street. So they, you've already made the abatement on that one. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, so I'm, that's why I'm looking for um, the one that I'm holding in my hand is 134. This is for Cottage Street. Cottage Street. It's a little confusing. Sorry. Let me see if it's the other one. Because I do have. This is it. This is it. Can you see this, gentlemen? Yeah. Okay. So it says 134 Montague Road plus 116 Montague Road, 113 Poles, 7585 Poles, 125 Sunderland Road. Okay. All right. And that's all, all that property is under the Beacon lease? All yes. that property? Well, um, no, I think we made, we made adjustments to everything but the 134 Montague Road. So we got apples and oranges here then. Yeah, they threw everything in here. Um, but they're saying the value of the property for WB Coles has not gone up. Beacon owns North Square buildings, which I just reiterated to you for another year or two when we received the 22,000 square feet as commercial condos. So that those commercial condos will remain with, with the, um, the Coles Corporation. And um, we will be leasing commercial for a dollar a year until then. So, you know, basically um, they are not paying on that commercial space. They're not paying on Atkins. They're not paying on the apartments. Okay, um, I, I think where I need to start with this, you need to give us a breakdown of what the original values of all these things were before we increased it this last year. Okay. And then another column of all the items, that, you know, the increases, what the increases on all these different parts, because I, I'm confused where all these parts going. Okay. And so we can see what it's focused, you know, where is the big increase on what part of it? And it's it sounds to the like land. It, it's only okay. to the land. There was no structures. But it, okay. But it sounds like 
it's more than one piece of land. No, it's all one land. It's all one piece of okay. land. It's all one okay. piece of land. It's all one piece is of this, land. Is and, this the current? Is this, this is the, cur the current record. Yep. And as you can see, there's a residential component, and that's the land and so forth that's portion to the co to the um, apartments. And then there's a commercial component, but the land is actually the amount that actually got increased. So the land well, is- Well, see, I don't see an increase here. Well, I think- that's, This is the new card? This yeah, is this the is, new card or the old card? This is the one they're appealing on. Okay. And I can bring up the one that they had last year so you can see where it varies. Um, so, let me bring up- Yeah, I need it. I guess I need to have the two cards broken out on the parts they're talking about. It looks like just two parcels of land here. Is that right? Um, it's one parcel. It's just broken up between its uses. It's because one parcel. Because they consider apartments as residential. Okay. Okay, even though commercial appraisals will say, yeah, no. It's okay, so the, the praise land here says 572,400. Is that what they're questioning? That value? Questioning the increase in the property, yeah, but I um, don't think they think they. I don't think that it, they quite understand that the building didn't go up. Uh, the building didn't go up. It was the land that went up for the for the um, uh, lease that they have with Beacon, and uh, that's really what's driving the train because the structural but, values won't increase until next year, and that's going to be Beacon's okay. anyway. We need to see a breakdown of all the what it was and what is now, because I'm confused. Where they're asking for a half a million dollar reduction, and the land shown here is only five hundred seventy-two thousand. Understood, and I'm actually bringing it up for you, so that you can see um, what it was before it ended up here. I'm going to bring up the nineteen card, so that you can see that one. Um, I don't know if I can fit the two of them on the same screen. That's the only thing that's got me baffled. Um, let's see if what I can do with this. Um, this is the 19. Um, and it's 2,141. And well, that's what they're asking us to go back to. So they're asking okay, well, us to go back to the assessment they had last year. Okay, then that's more than the land. Then it's not just the land because the land is only five seventy two on this. All right, are you seeing the one from nineteen that I'm on right now? No, I'm seeing the other one. Okay, let me bring up the one from nineteen. Um, let's see, how do I do this without messing things up? Um, someday I'll get better at this. I hope. I also think we're seeing the whole card. I mean, we're seeing in one card, but I'll, I think there are more, more than one card to this property. Um, there's multiple structures, but there's only one piece of land. Okay. That's the difference. Um, and I, I have it up here on the screen if I can figure out how to... All right, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Yep. I'm going to try and do this so that we can show you what I'm looking at here. So... This is the old property card, okay? And can okay, you see the that land card? One, yeah, the land is 190 here. So you can see that 2,141 2, is where it was last year. Hang on, asking on, hang, on hang on, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm still trying to follow. Where did the one, where's the 190 figure, Ken, that you're talking about? Appraised value summary, right below the, the screen there, 190, 800. Okay, all right, okay. And on the current card, it's like 500 something. Yes. Okay. 572, right? Yeah. Something like that. Something like yeah. that. So, Liz, you're saying that's the only two, no that's the number that has changed. That's the only That's thing. correct. It's a land number. So, we're focused on that. But and they, they, they seem to be appealing the structural value. Wait a minute. You just said the land is the only thing they're talking about. But the, the land is the only thing that increased from last year to this year. But okay. their appeal seems to be about the structures and their vacancy. Oh. You understand? Yeah. Remember, we're going back to January 1st yeah. of 2019. I need, 
I think the best thing is do a spreadsheet and give different year columns and so we know what we're talking about. And then I guess looking at the land, how did we get up, how did we get the 19800 back in 2019 on that card? How did we get that? How did we arrive at that? The 19200 that they had prior. Yep. Um, are you talking about, is that, have, a part, is that a partial have, Um I have the land at, you know, I don't like the way this is uh, descriptive. Well, I mean, look, well. look down in the summary, down in the summary there. The land, it, well, I don't understand the summary. How did, how's the praise bet land value of 19800? What is that? We're up above. Okay, these are all previous, so don't look at the previous. No, I'm not, I'm looking down below appraised value summary right below that. You're talking about this. Yeah, it says okay. land is 19800. What is that? I have no idea. That says building, appraised land value building. Kind of oxymoron, to be honest with you. I think that's telling you that that's the land the building's sitting on, the building site. So it's irrelevant, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this go back up to the top then. Go back yeah. up to the top. Yeah. So this is to do with the apartment. Anything that says residential has to do with the apartment. And what it's demonstrating is this is the prime site, the 362-300. And- But tell, one, talk to us about the land. What is the land number there? What um, land value are you talking? The land value we're talking about here is 2,141,000. That is That's the land the, value. Well, That's all that's just the, land. I know it says commercial oh, and okay. it does say residential. That's why I'm saying those descriptors are not very descriptive. Okay, that's all land. That's what all is, land. And what, okay, what did the current year say? I forget, um, 2006. The current year, okay, and, and this is a map. Uh, can you see the map yeah. that I'm bringing up? Yeah. Okay, so when you're, when you're looking at this map, um, North Square Building is this, this is, this is the pocket we're talking about here, okay? And then um, these buildings in purple were not on it for this, period, this cycle that they're being built for. That's, that's the point. And I think that's where um, Cinda and Ron are having difficulty understanding. And I had difficulty understanding it too, because we're going all the way back to January of 19. Yeah, but tell me what's the, the 2 million one in 2019, what's the land value for the current? 2000, 2 million five now? Um, for our current value, um, let me just bring that up. probably easier staying in this because you can see it, correct? So here's the, like the, the land. Um, I don't see any numbers. It's uh, 2,669,001. Okay, you need to, we need a breakdown by columns on how, what changed and why it changed. I mean, that does seem like a huge increase if it's just, it's not just, it's a, not an abnormal increase. So why did um, and probably because not many people get a, a substantial lease like this. This is a substantial lease that they got from Beacon. Well, but 2019, didn't that show the lease value? No, no. That showed the, the model value for the commercial property. It didn't show, so, it, show the increase um, attributed to the, um, the approvals for the apartments and so forth going in. So the 2019 land value had no lease connected to it at all? No, that just had you know the model from the apartments and the commercials that we had in place. So you just took a cost approach, what land sells for in that area and put it together? Um, actually, that's more of a model that's put in the mass appraisal when we do a revaluation. But this had to substantiate where they were in that process at that time. Yeah. So January of 18, they had the value for the, um, was it 2 million one? Okay. You know what I'm saying? 
um, and then they got yeah. approvals in place the for the for the um, the building of the apartments. And and as you all know, approvals are worth a lot. If you get approvals on a piece of land and you sell that land, it comes with those approvals. So that okay. improves the value. So that's that's where we got the information. We got the lease information. They actually received the payment. But the lease financial dollars already. Did the lease have anything to do with this except for yes. the, they sold yes. the land? Yes. Um they didn't sell it, they leased it. Okay. So are we doing an income approach on the income rent they're getting to value the land? Um, the amount of contracted lease for the land had an impact on the value. You understand? And when yep. they executed the lease, which happened for January of 19, okay. um, that, that predicated the increase to value. Okay. So we need to at least I need to understand what happened, how the 2019 numbers came about, and then how did we move from those to the 2020? You know, what I assume you valued by some kind of cap rate the lease payment rent. No, because the cap rate wouldn't play a role at this point. Like, um, I don't think that they um, would do that. It's based on the. Um, hmm. How can, I, how can I give a, a good explanation of this? I suppose it is on the income approach to some degree. Well, if, the, if you consider the lease, I would think it would have to be. But if you don't consider yeah. the lease, then it wouldn't The lease definitely be. played a role in executing it. But, you know, it's based on, you know, what can you sell that property for with those approvals in place and the lease in place? Well, if it's subject to the lease, the only thing you're selling is an income stream then. Well, yeah, it is. And yeah. therefore you have to capitalize that some way to come up with a value. But the only way to capitalize it is to, um, to have sales of like property of, of uh, you know, of yeah, land it, like that. It's kind of tough one. So, um, so basically in a nutshell, they want us to go back to what the value was in 2019 before the um, execution of the lease. Yeah, I'm, I guess we just need more information on how okay. the 2019 numbers came about and then how the 2020 numbers came about. Okay. So, um, you know, I know that I did not do take part in this, this uh, calculation. I'll, I'll research the information and see if I yeah. can give no, you something I mean, I'm more sure concise. David was pretty much involved some way. Oh, I'm sure so, he was. I'm sure he was. Yeah, I mean, you might need, to, how's he doing? Um, You know, he's been suffering. He really yeah. has been suffering. Does he still um, have his su surgery on schedule or not? Yeah, I still and, don't try and do that. Um, but, um, you know. End of July. They, like they say, you know, as you get older, you don't, it's not for wimpy people, is it? No. <laughs> Surgery's tough. That's, I don't know which is worse, the test or the surgery. <laughs> And well, all the way, you know, hurry up and wait, you know. Yep. So um, I feel for him because he's uh, he's been really showing up. He's been trying to support the office and um, the town, and uh, he's he's not always feeling his best when he gets here. You know, yeah. but he certainly operates in a professional manner. He never lets you know that he's hurting, um, but you can tell, you know. Okay. Well, I guess I'm available when. You think you have the information together to get back together on some kind of call? Okay. Um, so basically, what you're saying at this time is we need you, you need more information in order to make an insight. Right for decision. the two years, you know how we did 2019 to come up with the land value, and then how what changed and how we arrived at the 2020 land values. Okay. So. Um, okay. Where I think that's a wrap, okay? Um, except for um, now I have my report, and I'm sorry to keep you waffling on. Okay. Um, but, um, you know, basically. Know. Anybody else out? Is anybody else still on? No, nope. still no, on. It's just no, us. I, 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 I'm, oh, having okay. a, I'm having a devil of a time following. I need to see the paperwork they submitted. And I, so I can follow exactly what it is that they are, we're appealing. 
So okay. I take um, it was, well, it was the paperwork a, they submitted. Um, you know, that's what I was showing you there, but I can still, well, we can, we can, no, copies I, I, of I'm saying we can do this at, at a future date. I just, um, yeah, I, I, do too. I, I need to, I need to think through this in an orally fashion. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I, I, um, given, um, I don't think this was done. Um, this is not a, a um, I, I assume that they felt they had a reasonable basis to make this request. So I'm just mm -hmm. trying to understand it, that's all. Oh, absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, I have an email I'd like to share with you. Um, and actually, I'd also like to have Lee involved in it too. Sure. So the yeah. three of us, so the three of us have reviewed it and understand it. And right now I have to say, Ken has helped a bit, but I don't really understand it, so. Um, well, I, I wanna share this it. with you before we close, um, cause okay. this will be, um, this was a, a, a letter to is me. Ron held, is Ron held their attorney? He is their account Accounting manager. Accounting manager, okay. Yes, yeah. And uh, I will say we have a great rapport. You know, anytime I, I have questions, I can pick up the phone and ask him questions. Um, and, and David's been wonderful explaining this. But I'll be honest with you, when I first heard the explanation, I had difficulty grasping this because it is a, a like a 99-year lease. And they, re they received a, a lump sum. Um, and, uh, you know, from what David said, the, the lease predicated the increase for uh, fiscal 2020, and that's what they're appealing. Um, but this is, uh, you know, I asked uh, Ron if they had anything further to present with their appeal, and uh, this is what he sent me. He said, hi, Liz, I reviewed the abatement application for 134 Montague Road. I know we've discussed numerous things along the way, things that were discussed in one form or another would include the status of the building, at 75 to 85 poles, the commercial space still owned by Beacon. You understand? So that yes. commercial space is those those structures are being built to Beacon because they own those structures still. And only partial completion, which is true, they're only partially complete. Um, none of the space is built out and no prospective tenants outside of our general store after the build out as well as 113 polls recently yep. developed that the tenant is vacating and no prospect prospect for tenant and that's the Aikens property. Atkins Atkins Park property. But yeah. these buildings, as he stated in his own statement, belong to Beacon. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm thinking out just back a big picture. It's really important, I think, that we all get this off on the right foot. Sure. Because this is going to be around for a long time. And it's a very, as you pointed out, Liz, it's a very complex situation with the lease and everything sure. involved. And, and have you have thought about they, maybe asking the consultant that we use to come in and help you overlook this? Did you get it off to the right start? You know, um, because David had intimate knowledge in this, I felt yeah. that, um, you know, he would have a, a pretty good understanding. Um, but you know, I, I, do, I would feel good about um, getting the cap rates and so forth that were utilized in this. Um, and, you know, when I go to the income streams on this field part, it's hard for me to discern what he utilized as part of it. Um, you know, when I go to the assessment history, usually they tell you whether it says it's using the cost approach. Uh oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong one. Let me go to the right one. So, not, so Beacon has a 99-year lease on the property? Yeah. Okay, all right. On the ground. Mm -hmm. It's okay. a ground lease, yeah. Yeah. So I think you really, I mean, talk to David, too, to think, but this is one of the most complex structures we have in town, and it might be worth, I'd strongly look at bringing the consultant in to work with you, because it's not okay. just going to be a one-time thing. It's going to be... Several well, years. Well, right of, now it's a, it, the easy part because we're on the land. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but it's going to be a. Yeah. Well, it's important, I think, for the board to understand it. Yeah, absolutely. And I and I actually absolutely. I actually think all three members of the board should understand it. Sure. So so, we have to sort of be taken through this. I think. Would you like me to um, try to get a like a narrative from the, the consultant to try to explain this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think it's it'd be worthwhile. I mean, 
get David's input, but I think you really need to bring the consultant in to be able to have on call because Dave's not going to be on call all the time. No, he's no, not. I understand that. This is going to go for that. this is going to go for years before you get this settled. Well, down. and eventually I'll have more familiarity with. Now, when you can, when you say when you say it's going to go for years, you mean what do you mean by that? Well, it, until they get stabilized income and yes, yeah. you know it's. They, until they lease the apartments up and they know what kind of income stream they're presenting, mm -hmm. that's going to be a year or two away probably. And then it's going to change based um, on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because January of 2020, they hadn't been leasing. I was out there. Um, it was still empty apartments. And they hadn't even finished pouring the floors on the commercial yeah. space. And, and the commercial space calls owns, right? I'm sorry? The commercial space Kyle's owns. Um, no, no. At that point, it was owned by Beacon, and, it's, and um, it was recently I, turned over. So that's okay. That's, but in the future, you're going to be sending a bill to Kyle's for the commercial space. That's correct. Future. Okay, yeah, future, and that's going to be entirely income stream, and that's, that's going to be an income approach. And yes. so the apartments won't you won't do anything with those because they're not they're Beacons. Um, well, yeah, Beacon will be the ones that will be able to appeal if they wish to. Yeah. So it's, I'd strongly recommend you bring a consultant in to give an overview and a proposal on how he'd look at this and share with the board. Sure. sure. Yeah. I will say that they were very forthcoming. They provided income and expense information, but the income and expense information that they provided were, were not retroactive to January of that's one thing that's a little bit difficult. Um, and it doesn't mean anything right now. Because it doesn't mean anything not. to this appeal, but if they no. choose to appeal in future, yes. Um, and unfortunately, the um, they really, uh, I'd say. So feel free. I mean, the consultant can cut, join us on a meeting too on this one property here to help. Sure, and you know what I'll do is minutes. I'll invite um, Ron or Cinda to join us, perhaps. No, I don't think so. Not until we have a better understanding. No, okay. I, I, I don't want to just demonstrate my ignorance at this point. Yeah, no. Well, I certainly don't think you're ignorant, first of all. No, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm, but I'm having <laughs> you're, trouble. I'm having you're, trouble you're following only, this one. We're, 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 we're only in the dark about a few things. Um, so, so I'm. I would like to go to the second Thursday in August. Second Thursday in August. Okay. In, unless, unless there's a, a, a time sensitivity with this, that we. Well, have they to be do aware have. Um, they do have an opportunity to appeal to the ATB. All right. They and that tax board. And that's triggered by what? They're, Usually, if you deny their appeal. Yeah, but the denial then creates a. Uh, there's a the time frame. Yeah. If we don't um, respond, basically, they can what go happens ahead. is if you take no action on this. And the, again, what I'm asking the period is, expires, they what can I'm asking is, what is the deadline for our decision on this? Um, well, in a normal year, it's already passed because you only have three months to make a decision. Uh, I'm, 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 uh, but what they've extended, allowed us to extend it. What is the date now? Or is there no date really? There is really no date that's that's been, um, that Coles is allow us to extend to. But, you know, we, we wouldn't want to exceed their opportunity to appeal to the public tax board. But what, is, what is that? Take no action what, on well, this. They have. But what, what is that? What is that deadline for their right? I, mean, I don't want to affect their right to appeal either. I'm just trying to figure out um, how long we have to, um, to think about this. Well, let me see what Teresa sent out with our appeals because it gave an explanation. And I do have a copy of that. Let me see if I can find that. Because it explains um, the time frame that they have to appeal. Um, I'm not even sure if it's that accurate because uh, of all the extensions the governor has given us. Let's see.
I guess I'm, I'm um, is the 7585 Coles, is that a different parcel from the 134 Montague Road parcel? Um, I, I'm, I'm just completely. 7585, um, bring it up. Yeah, it's a different property. Okay, so I guess I'm. I'm gonna try and bring up the map. I guess so. What is the, re what is the relevance? Let, the wait, let, let's. I gotta run here. I can't. Let's not go back to the map. I mean, okay. let's go. Let's. What we need to know if they're running a date for appeal, because okay. I'm with. We don't want to let them not have the chance to appeal. If that's the right. That up. exactly. That's my concern. Is is is. Yeah, you know, uh, I don't want to cut off their right to appeal. Yeah. But, um, it says you have, um, you may appeal to the disposition of your application to the appellant tax board or if the application to the county commissioners. The appeal must be filed within three months of the date of assessors acted on your application. Okay, fine. So that, so our action triggers the, the amount of the appeal time, the time they have to appeal. Yes. Okay. So, so, um, but in that same breath, the paragraph yes. above says the assessors have three months from the date of application to file an act on or unless agreed in writing before the okay, period we'll expires, which they did. If the assessor do not act on your application within the original or extended period, it is deemed denied. So, what did they agree in writing? To what date? Um, let me just go back to that because um, I believe they just said that um, we could uh, continue until we, um, we, we, they'd allow us enough time to, to um, act on it. But let me just double check with Ron here. We've gone back and forth a lot on this, I'll be honest. So I guess if you talk to Ron and say, Ron, is there already, if we extend this until August 20th? I'm sure um, he'd give us that time. Well, it would be August 13th is the second Thursday. I'm just. You want no, the August but I, don't want the, I don't want the same date they're meeting. In oh, case I see. We need more discussion after the meeting. Oh, I, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. So just pick a date, like August 20th. I don't know what date. Pick a date later than our meeting, though, so we have more time to talk if we need to. Sure. And get it back in writing from them. Okay. And then, and then I guess I'd, I'd say let's have a, make sure you can do this with the consultant to have him get up to speed and be able to do this in the next month here okay. to help, rec um, help you build a recommendation that we can fully understand. Right. My, my presumption I is you're going to, you. my presumption is you're going to deny the application, right? Or you, that's, that's what you want us Based to do. Based on what David has shared with me, it feels relevant. To okay. So, so that means we have to make sure that we um, give them the opportunity to appeal. After we understand why we're denying it. Exactly. Exactly. I see what your point is. Sure. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. Yep. You know, and I'm trusting David has provided, um, you know, the the right assessment based on the information that I bet he provided. has too. I just yeah. want to make sure I get it. I yep. want to know it myself. So, yeah. you know, honestly, gentlemen, I'm in the okay. a similar position as yourselves. Um, I'm I'm curious to see how the the lease impact. Okay. The All right. So. Okay. I'm running out of time too. But I. I yeah, I'd still have a consultant come on board on this. It's just too complex a deal that going forward, it's not just one time look at it. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm moved to, I'm moved to well, adjourn. Yeah, I'm, I'm moved, I'm moved move to adjourn to August 13th. Okay. Okay. Right, I agree. Gonna, you agree. Okay. You got it. Okay. But we're available if you need to contact us before then. Yes, Thank you. we are. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Briefly, I just wanted to give you my, my update because, um, you know, we've had some movement. Um, I did voice my opinion that I felt that our office um, 
you know, cutting our office at this point would be difficult. And, and they heard me. They really did hear me. Okay. Um, the problem we have right now is Teresa's going to be out four to six weeks. Um, What's that start? Struggling health-wise, and he's going in for surgery. Um, and uh, she's already out. She's gone. Oh. Yeah. She's gone for the next four to six weeks. As so are you the only one? If you're thinking of poor Teresa, um, you might want to yeah. drop her a line because uh, it's pretty scary surgery. So who is doing your support work? No one. Oh, my God. So, is, yeah. Have you um, talked to somebody about sharing somebody or? Um, well, that's the thing that the, the reason I try to put some uh, oomph to it, if you will, because um, we've been asking uh, leisure services to give us back Stephen Casey. He's um, the gentleman that was at central services. And I think he's a great candidate to train, do some support services. Um, Teresa's made it clear that she's going to be retiring when she's, when it's possible for her. And uh, they were, we're talking only a couple of years here. So um, I'm going to be me, myself, and I, and I'm not going to have enough support to get out to 4,800 places to inspect for 2023. And I'm also going to try and do a lot more to, to increase your, your coffers, if at all possible, from the state don't. And um, you're just not going to have enough, uh, not enough of me to go around. I'm putting in extended hours now. And, um, you know, at some point I'm going to burn out. So, yeah. um, the, you know, uh, well, Sean is yeah. great. He understands the situation. He's been, um, you know, reaching out to, uh, Jen and Cheryl to find out what we can get from the collector's office. They extended, um, Stephen, except Stephen was parsed out to the leader services. And leader services is reluctant to leave it to, you know, to lose this valuable employee as well. So they keep pulling him back to be either at the golf course or Puffer's Pond. And they're saying, hey, no, he needs to be here full time to cover the assessor's office. So what do you need from us? You know, basically what I'm, what I'm looking at is, um, you know, when they're talking about cutting the assessor's office in any way, shape or form, I'd like to, like to see members show up, you know, to, to at least hear what's going on and support the office. Well, um, I mean, 13 people in inspection services, all doing data entry that filters through this office. Um, there's four people or five people in the collector's office. There's uh, three full-time people in the, in the town clerk's office. There's at least five or six in finance and I've got one and she's out. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, but I, David did recommend no, Have you talked after, to Paul? Is Paul? Um, you know, I talked to Sean because he's my immediate supervisor. Oh, okay. I talked to Sonia because she yep. was the interim finance director and she's part yep. of, she's controller. Um, I made my position pretty clear. And, and uh, actually, Evelyn, okay. the HR director, agreed with me. Um, she felt that, you know, they were leaving me well, short. But it was David's recommendation to cut it down to half time. And okay. her position hasn't been filled since December. Yeah, but you don't have anybody now. That's not... That was yeah, not in the I got, works. I got nobody. Yeah. I mean, can uh, you, can you. And Steven, I have to train from the ground up. He has no training. Yeah. I mean, what is there things that can take off your plate? Well. Can you shut down your off, your op as far as people coming in from outside? And there is no a, people coming in from outside. Okay. Um, so nobody but, bugs you. No, no. And okay. Teresa was being put on the central service counter two half days a week um, and on his backup for a full day every week. So three days out of the five days, I wasn't even getting her. Didn't leave me a lot of time to work on the things I have to work on. No. You know? But it, I guess what I'm asking, what is on your plate you can just say, we can't do that anymore? Um. I think the, the problem I have is it's very difficult for me to try to schedule inspections without having office coverage to service the, the, the people. Now, wait a minute. What are those people servicing? Uh, phone calls, emails, letters, um, the forms, the application forms that go out to the public and they have to come back and get processed. All those yeah. things, uh, transfers of title, changes of address, all that stuff is stuff. Yeah, that's going you on need somebody. Every day. Yeah. A butters list and yeah. um, 
the list goes on. And we're a college community. And a college community um, has a lot of uh, communication with the taxpayers because you have a number of students that don't stay in one place, do they? They move and they, they transfer their cars to another state or they move out of state to take on their occupations. So we get a lot of folks that are saying, hey, I don't live here, change my address. Hey, I don't owe this whole bill, I need to get it adjusted. So that creates a lot of volume. And we have almost 40,000 people. I'd look, Liz, anything you can take off your plate, talk to your manager about taking it off your plate. Because okay. there's nobody else that can do valuations. Uh, and I'd lay the groundwork of, you're gonna have to hire a lot of outside inspection work coming down the road. Right, and that's one of the things that David had recommended was carrying yep. um, the consultant fee into the next fiscal year so that we could um, yep. utilize his talents. But when I talked to him, that's one of the things that was a little disturbing. He said he didn't like the new version of the mass appraisal system we were going into and that it would cost us more to have data entry into that system. So it makes sense for us to try and get in-house staff to learn how to do this data entry so we don't have to pay a higher level of, of uh, cost. Sure, but if, sure, but, but if you don't get the staff, there's no option. You gotta right. pay the higher level and go outside. Pay the higher level, yep. Yeah. Okay, take a breath. Uh, Breathe a, in. I still very glad to be here and I'm glad to be here okay, with the people of, of Amherst. We don't want you to see you burned out either. Ah, you know what my oh. daughter said? Why did they give you the passcode? <laughs> so don't okay tell thank you okay. very much no well, thank you Take i care. appreciate it and okay. is this meeting adjourned all right yep. this meeting is adjourned uh to yeah. august 13th um i'm assuming you have somebody to prepare the paperwork for august 13th yes i i uh, right. will make sure it's prepared for you okay all right okay uh, thank as you as anybody to do it i'm not sure about that but I'm all right sure. thank you you're welcome bye-bye good afternoon bye-bye bye-bye Question. I'm not even sure how to end this. I'm hitting leave meeting. Yeah, I'm having a hard time um, hitting the leave thing. Let's see. I've got so many windows open at this point that I have to kind of close them down to see where I can hit the leave thing. Okay, there we go. Sean, you all set?